Hello everyone, this is the Casual Fan. The Formula 1 season is already in motion as us fans eagerly wait for the first race of the season at Bahrain. We've had testing and with not too long left before the start of the season, this does seem like the perfect time to roll out my predictions for the 2022 Formula 1 season. For this season, we have an entirely new set of regulations, so that should impact how the racing could be conducted. And to add to this, the 23 race calendar is not going to be the easiest for the teams and the drivers, and that should play a role as well. No one really knows how the budget cap is going to impact the championship fight, and to add to it, how fast the development rate is going to be for these new cars. All in all, too many variables and too many things that can happen and impact my prediction. Regardless, with a slight fear of ending up with an egg on my face at the end of the season, let's take the plunge and get started with our predictions for the 2022 season. Okay, now before we proceed, please, please, please hit that subscribe button and support the channel. We are at 400 subscribers right now and it would be a huge boost for me if we can increase this number and at least get to 1000. Having said that, let's get back to our predictions. After the Formula 1 pre-season tests, it does appear that Williams is in all probability going to find itself at the back of the grid yet again. After the heights of last season where the team scored points and even a podium this change in regulations was supposed to be the tipping point for williams to start making progress however with a car that's well by the looks of it probably not going to fight in the midfield and a driver lineup that seems to be a step down from last season williams might turn out to be the most disappointing team for this season The 2021 F1 season ended with Sergio Perez being touted as a legend by the reigning champion Max Verstappen. However, if the Mexican driver is honest with himself, then the 2021 season was well it was a bit below par. He was thoroughly outclassed by Max in the same car and it just showed how big a gulf there is between the top tier drivers and Checo. This season Perez is not competing with Valtteri Bottas as the number 2 driver. He is competing in all probability with the likes of George Russell and Carlos Sainz in order to help Red Bull win the constructors title. While sure Perez is a high quality driver and being part of the Red Bull setup for a year should help him. This season we might see him not reaching the expectations set by Red Bull. We might see a season similar to what he had last season and if we are honest that is just not enough at this stage and at this level in formula 1 now if the pre season tests have revealed something then it is the fact that haas might just have delivered on the promise it made last season when it gave up on the 2021 car altogether Haas pretty much spent last two seasons as a backmarker and if the pre-season form is anything to go by it might find itself in the midfield and fighting for points considering where it was last season that would be a significant improvement in performance for the american team and that is why in my view Haas is going to be the most improved team this season Now talking about the most improved driver it does feel a bit weird to even nominate Charles Leclerc's name in this category did he have a bad season in 2021 far from it but if there is one fact that needs to be addressed then it is him getting outscored by his teammate at Ferrari did luck play a role yes it did but then Leclerc was too error prone as well and should not have given even a sniff of an opportunity to Sainz Leclerc in my view is one of the greats of the future and for the 2022 season I expect him to learn from his mistakes of last season and stamp his authority in the team. Now my surprise of the season is going to surprise a lot of people. Aston Martin has a decent car at its disposal this season. It does appear to be well entrenched in the midfield battle. However, for a four-time world champion, 
fighting for midfield honors is not the most rewarding thing in the world nor is it the most motivating especially for someone that has new interests outside the sport and is investing his time and energy in those ventures as well vettel looks happy on the grid this season which is a far cry from what we had in his last season at ferrari in 2020 However, if the team is not showing a clear trajectory of improvement towards the front of the grid, will Vettel have the motivation to continue to fight in the midfield? I'm not entirely sure about that. And with his contract ending this year, I feel unless he sees an immediate rise to the front, Vettel might decide to hang his gloves and call an end to what has been an impressive Formula 1 career. Now talking about the surprise win. Well, cars bunched up together. Alpine snapping at the heels of the top teams and unpredictability because of an entirely new set of regulations. This is the perfect recipe for a force of nature like Fernando Alonso to make his mark and pick up an unlikely win. He won't even need a race like the Hungarian Grand Prix last season to make it happen. All Alonso needs is a car that is within striking distance of the cars in front and rest he can do it. Can this happen at least once in 23 races? Of course it can and hence we are picking Fernando Alonso to be the surprise winner this season. Haas appears to be a competitive car this season and should be able to fight it out in the midfield with Mick Schumacher a driver that truly excels in the second season in any category in their ranks Haas will be expecting consistent points from the German however is there a possibility that a race is affected by rain or incidents and Mick is able to take advantage of the situation and grab a podium well i am backing Mick to make this happen and score a surprise podium for Haas And finally now for the two big ones. First of all, the constructors champion. Now this was the most tricky one for me and it might be an amateur prediction, but I do feel that Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull are going to battle it out throughout the season. Red Bull seem to have a weakness with Perez as its second driver that forces them out of the championship contention. However, between Ferrari and Mercedes, I feel it's going to be a close battle. On paper, it's hard to pick Leclerc over Hamilton and even Sainz over Russell. But the differentiator could be the cars that these drivers have. I'm backing Ferrari to have the better car at least at the start of the season. that helps the team to hold on to the top of the standings and win the constructors to add to this it's not a surprise to admit that <laughs> well let's be fair i am a bit biased to see ferrari succeed for once in a long long time so having said that we are backing ferrari to be the constructors champion for the 2022 season now talking about the drivers champion Then after testing it does appear that there is going to be a close battle between Red Bull and Ferrari with Mercedes joining the fight soon in the coming races. And if that happens when all the dust settles it's going to be a battle between Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. And this is where I feel Max will pull away from the other two because while on driver ability I feel all three are elites in the sport both Leclerc and Hamilton will have their teammates snapping at their heels and even taking points off them at the start of the season this is one issue that max does not face because of his dominance over perez at red bull to add to this the operational supremacy of red bull and the seeming car advantage that the team has at the start of the season is going to help max now although it's going to be a seesaw battle i feel Verstappen will be able to take the initiative and win the driver's title for the 2022 season and become a two-time world champion. So these were my predictions for this season. We will revisit these picks at the end of the season to see how many we were able to predict correctly and in how many of these we ended up looking like fools. But what are your picks? Who do you think is going to be 
the 2022 Drivers and Constructors Champion. Do let me know in the comment section and please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.